Yeah. Justin Verlander, who's been lights out, but he's back off arm surgery. I mean, Verlander going to hold up all season with all those innings? Yes. Okay, show me, right? right? Show me. I need to see it. <laughs> Gosman. Show me what you got. Thank you. Oh. Gosman. Gosman. I mean, very, it's very good. good. Start. Yeah, it's a good okay. start. Very yeah. good start. Yeah. Cease. Dylan Cease, seven to one. Wow. I mean, we're going to. We're going to talk about the White Sox. I mean, they're coming. Okay. Uh, Okay. Garrett Cole. I mean, I know the Yankees. We're going to talk Yankees because they're rolling. Trying to give them anything right now. The way I know, but I don't trust Garrett Cole, man. I mean, he's got to come back and show me. And then Otani's next. I mean, okay. He's down to he's down to ten to one. I hit it at thirteen to one. He's down to ten to one. You know who's lurking? Yeah, you know who's lurking. Where's Manoa? Our guy. It's an Alec Manoa podcast here. Manoa (laughs) lurking at twelve to one. Listen, Which, by this the way, is viable. Look, I got 25 to 1. You got Manoa at 25 to 1? 25. Okay, here's the only question. Let's just dive in this now because that's what we do. We jump around. Newbie, we're off the rundown. Here we go. We're audibling. <laughs> Calling it, we're audibling at the line of scrimmage because we're talking Cy Young. Who even had Cy Young besides me? I just this throw it out. Now, we're, now, now, on, now here we go. Here we go. Runner's going. Runner's going. Here we go. <laughs> Newbie, stay with us. So... so Manoa, Blue Jays, I love them before the season. We love Manoa. We like his strikeout props. Didn't have a great outing in his last game out. So I watch him on a bounce back when he comes around the rotation later this week. What about the Blue Jays? What about the Blue Jays here? The Yankees are absolutely rolling. What a game last night. Oh. Blue Jays, Yankees. Judge walks it off. The Yankees were down 3-0. Then they were down 5-3. Judge walks off with the bomb. I mean, he hit a bomb, too. You talk about hanging Would a pitch. Would you believe? Ooh. Judge hit that ball out, and one of the kids that's a producer at Sports Grid for one of my shows, the the the, the, the night show, the all game in, uh, in game all access, caught the ball. No way, for real. Sam, I am the kid, uh, uh, <laughs> Frankie. No, I'm sorry, Frankie, Frankie the follow or Frankie the fade. He's become a character on the show because he gives us a bet every week or every day, and you determine whether you follow Frankie or don't. And he's got this voice. I mean, he sounds like a New York City old school hitman. Hey, Dave. I remember, you know, he's real deep. But he looks like he's 12. He caught the ball. He got it. Oh, the that's judge a good one. hit. That's his great. first. That's Judge's first ever walk off in his career. Can you believe I can't that? believe that. Yeah. Okay. So it's a, it's a dual track conversation here. Where are the Blue Jays? Are they okay? The bat's going to get going. Is the pitching going to hold up one? Or do you like the, I mean, the Yankees look really good. We know they've got the pitching now, the hitting. I mean, they're pretty good. Plus 650 to win the World Series, three to one to win the American League, minus 125 AL East. Do you like anything on the Yankees? Are the Blue Jays fading? What do you got AL East? I mean, as constructed right now, the Yankees are definitely one of the top teams in the American League and should be one of the co favorites to win the American League East. Um, everything's rolling right now, and they're winning division games, which is giving them a little bit of space and stuff mm-hmm. right now. That's what you do in April and May, you win those early games to build up when that losing streak comes. If they go make a move at the deadline and go get one more starter, look out. They're getting the pitching now. I mean, mm-hmm. Cortez pitched a gem. Yeah. Uh, Talk about no hitters deep. He was rolling with one deep. Right. He just pitched a gem last time out. And, you know, he's got one of the best best mustaches in baseball, too. I mean, it's just it's, 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 it's kind of a John Franco, old school John Franco look. It is. It's tight. It's, it's it, And on the Yankees, you know, you can't have nothing else. So he keeps it perfectly manicured. It's amazing. But his curveball's really working, too. Like, like the Yankees are dangerous. Their lineup is so deep. There's not a bat in there right now that you can take one at-bat off. Like, there's no breather. And they're never out of a game because they hit the long ball, b So, yes, I think, um, I mean, at plus 650, we really don't want to mess with that, though, right? Like, it doesn't seem like it's enough for me. I hate doing it too early. We can get 650 in August after they make a trade deadline move. It's not going to drop much lower. So, I would wait. Is this something like I'm looking between you and I, I'm looking for World Series odds of at least 15 to one or more now, because as you get to the playoffs, and although I still don't understand the playoff format, 
half of the league's going to make it. I don't know. I don't either. I don't either. I told you Angels are minus 200. I don't know who gets in. I'm not doing any playoff bets until I figure out how the bracket works. I have no idea what we're doing. I'm going to rely on you to do that. Okay, well, we're not there yet. We're making no playoff bets on this show because we don't know how it works. You're going to have to ask BaseballSavant.com or PSU Auto to help us out or something. And graphs. I mean, we got a lot of analytics sites. Can someone break down how the hell you get in the playoffs? Because I don't know. Jesus. (laughs) Everybody's in. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, click on another video right here on the screen. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.